We can go to the ends of the earth, but at the end of the day, travel is just a vehicle for us to meet ourselves. These stories talk about how travel can transform us. The journey can be anywhere, but ultimately, the destination is you. This is Christy. Travel always seems to find me. Um, so I've been in India now about seven, going on eight years, just traveling and living here. The reason I came to India in the first place, when I was really young, I had my first internship and I lived in Dhaka in Bangladesh. And I fell in love with Dhaka actually. It was the hardest place I'd ever lived, but the music, the bowel music, the art, there was a lot of poetry. It was just like this really sort of dark, deep, um, artistic place. So my thinking was, I could, I could just sort of transfer that longing to India, and India would have all of these kind of arts and poetry and music, um, but it would be much, much more livable than Dhaka. And I came with these like two suitcases full of expectations for Bangalore and my sort of beautiful life in India. And I got here, <laughs> and I, it was like, the city was like 10 million 24 year old techies and I couldn't find any of the things that I was looking for and I was incredibly disappointed. So when I first came to Bangalore, the only thing that I knew how to access was these uh, expat events and things that were kind of, you know, advertised in the way that I knew they were happening. I would go to them and it would be these ladies sitting around complaining about their maids and their drivers the whole time and I was just wanting to shoot myself. At that point it was like that's it and I thought I've got to find a different way to access this place and to be here than I am right now. So it wasn't some big change that happened but it was this series of like small, small, very human experiences that I had with India that really started to shift how I saw it. It's like riding back in a rickshaw and all of a sudden he's got a subwoofer in the back and he starts playing these Hindi film songs at like, you know, blasting out and you're riding through the streets. I even remember um, there was this one time when the people downstairs decided to, you know, have these gardeners come and trim the trees, which were our favorite part of living there, you know, the trees were the best part. And suddenly these gardeners were outside just like hacking these trees with machetes. So there I was like screaming and crying and like I was shouting at them in my like pigeon bungalow, which they didn't understand. And finally, you know, at some points I was going down, I stole the guy's machete and ran away with it. And we were having all these fights. And afterwards I was walking down the street and I ran into this gardener, he had finished elderly gardener on a bicycle and he just motioned for me, he didn't speak English, he just motioned for me to get on the back of his bicycle and he would take me back to the house and so I did and um, that and I just thought after that incident I thought I have a lot to learn about life and I think I'm gonna learn it here. So I think I've really fallen in love with India because it's this space where you can just be really human. So, Christian, you know what uh, that you be in China as well? Oh, yeah. I spent a long time in China. There's a lot of stories <laughs> about China.